Uh, hello everyone, I'm Tai from Singapore Management University. Today I will present our paper, Asgard, toward fixing vulnerable smart contract automatically. So this is the outline of my talk. First, I will introduce some background knowledge about a smart contract. Second, I will give a, a simple example to demonstrate overall workflow of Asgard. Thus, I will clearly explain how the dependencies are symbolically analyzed in Asgard. So finally, I conclude my talk with a result summary. As you may know, the smart contract uh, program is executed on top of Ethereum blockchain to support many financial applications. Uh, there are two noticeable properties of smart contracts, uh, public and immutable. So immutable means that you cannot modify the source code uh, of a smart contract if it's, a, if it's worth deploying to the blockchain. So here is the example smart contract written in uh, Solidity. The syntax is really similar to JavaScript. So the Hello World smart contract uh, has two functions. The first function is constructor with initialized data, and the second function is updates, is store new string to the global variable message. Uh, because smart contracts are subject to vulnerability, uh, how to have a specific smart contract deployment? The general workflow is that we first scan our smart contract with a variety of open source security tools such as uh, Argente or Adverse. Whenever a bug is discovered, we manually fix it and scan again to make sure that no bug exists in our smart contract. So after that step, the smart contract is safe for deployment. However, with Adverse, the workflow is changed a bit. First, we locate vulnerabilities uh, Second, we generate patches for vulnerable smart contract, and last, we prove that our smart contract uh, is safe. Uh, then the smart contract is now safe for the de deployment. How how can we do that? This is our idea. First, we analyze smart contract at the bytecode level because it's more precise than the analysis based on the source code. Second, we fix smart contract at the source code level. Because it is more transparent to user, that will understand our fixes. Last, uh, based on the way we analyze smart contract, we can prove that our fixed smart contract are safe. So here, the cost snippet on the left is the vulnerable smart contract. It is designed to give 0.1 ether for the first five person who call the function giveaway. However, attacker intentionally can call the function giveaway more than 8 times to reset the variable counter to 0 and claim more Ethereum. This happens because the variable counters have style of unsigned age, which, have, uh, which can only handle the value from 0 to 7. On the right is a smart contract fixed by Edgar. Basically, we wrap the assignment uh, counter in 3 by one with a safe math function call uh, add unsigned age, which uh, throw an error if there is an overflow happen to the variable counter. So we s here we show the overall workflow, how we how how to achieve that result. Uh, step one, we enumerate all possible traces from the given example. The vulnerable smart contract has two traces. Trace one goes to the true branch of the if statement and trace 2 goes to the phone brands. In total, there are two traces as shown in the slides. In the second step, we find critical in external code. In our cases, it's a message.sender.send from the trace 1. As the bytecode level, is represented by the instruction code. Step 3, we trace back the control dependency to detect relevant uh, statements or expressions. In our case, message.sender.send is control dependent on the statement uh, if counter less than 5. So we trace back the data dependency and we further discover that the variable counter is data dependent on the assignment counter, assignment counter increase, counter increase by 1. Is it because it loads data from the rest 1? that is written by the assignment counter in 3 by 1. Uh, step 4. At the backcode level, the assignment statements use instruction add which uh, may cause overflow. So that's why we generate fixes for this vulnerable code. 
So first, we decompress source map to identify the line of code associated with the vulnerable opus. Then we travel the ASD tree to detect the precise location and if time to wrap the assignment with our safe map function code. Finally, the bug is fixed. So let me summarize our four steps to fix a fixing smart contract. First, we enumerate all possible traces. Second, we locate critical instruction. Third, we follow dependency to find vulnerable opus. Last, we generate fixes for them. So we need both control and data dependency to generate suitable fixes. However, building control flow graph is well-known task. So in this talk, I will only introduce data dependency analysis at bytecode level. So here is the definition. An opcode of J is said to be data dependent on opcode of I if it reads data and data from location that re that written by opcode of I of I. So in Ethereum, data dependency comes from three data source memory, stack and storage. So given the source code in the slide, it creates an array with three values 10, 20, and 30 on memory. The last line of code loads data at index 1 and adds it to 20. It is clearly that uh, there is a data dependency from array 1 with, the, with its declarations. So at the backcode level, the app loads instruction loads data from memory array uh, A, A0 written by the second memstore instruction. Therefore, we can easily detect data dependency between them. Uh, we have similar things for data short, data short storage. However, for storage, Ethereum bytecodes you different instructions to interact with storage. Uh, they are at loss and at store. Detecting data dependency on stack is a non-trivial task. Unlike memory or storage, data dependency on stack is not clearly shown in the simulated expressions. So we have to trace back the stack position to discover the data dependency. For example, uh, for the example shows on the right. So from the add instruction, we trace back to find the possible stack position that may affect its value. Finally, we discover that the value of the variable x at stack position 1 is a part of the add instruction. So what happens if uh, the simplest expressions are too complicated? Do they have a uh, data dependency? We don't know. In the case, in that case, we are in the case that we are unable unable to handle, we will apply some heuristic, for example, like converting a simple expression to concrete memory ranges. Or in the worst case, we assume that uh, writing and reading allocation are overlap. So finally, for data dependency, we come up with an algorithm that traces back the dependency across three different data sources stack memory and storage. So we pass intra function reentrancy, cross function reentrancy, then gross transaction dot origin and arithmetic uh, vulnerability. So these vulnerabilities are formally defined in our paper. So according to the way we analyze a smart contract, the fixed smart contracts is safe because all data and control dependency are captured. All vulnerabilities are discovered, all generated fixes are safe. When enumerating all possible traces of a smart contract, we have to answer a question. How many iterations are sufficient to capture all dependencies in a loop? Given an example in the slides, we can prove that with 5 iterations as are able to capture all dependencies in the transfer function. Is it because there are five assignment statements in the loop? You may read our paper for more details. However, for a complicated program, SF may take a really long time to enumerate all possible traces due to past explosions. This problem will be taken into consideration in our future project. Here I summarize some noticeable results from our paper. Uh, in smart contract, there is a trivial approach uh, to fit integral overflow or underflow. That's it, we will wrap any arithmetic opcode with a set math function code. It is used as the baseline. As you can see in the table, as that generates significantly less set math function code 
than the baseline. So for example, with the add instruction, the baseline generates four times more safe mass function code than us. So our experiment results also show that our fixing approach in current low overhead in terms of transaction is introduced additional 15% of time and 0.8% of gas. And 90% of uh, fixed smart contracts are fixed within 36 seconds. Thanks for watching.